Hey guys, what's going on? It's your favorite cancer causing appliance microwave and for today's video we're going to be looking at one of my favorite new defending operators, Lesion. I know I'm a little bit late to the whole operator guide party, but I actually like to wait to talk about the operator after I've played him extensively, unlike some other YouTubers. Now, you know who I'm talking about. Now, this will be kind of like my Volcam guide that I made last year, where I talk about how to use his gadgets instead of babbling on for 10 minutes about where to place them. I fully believe that telling players how to play doesn't do as much as telling them why they should play that way. Now, you can find a link to the Volcam guide in the description below if you're interested in learning more about her. So let's start with the basics before covering the advanced parts. I've outlined down below the timeline, so feel free to skip to whatever parts you don't care about. Now, Cargo Shorts is a two speed, two armor operator, so he's kind of fast as fuck, but he's also kind of a slug boy. Legion has two primary weapons, the SMG and the suppressed shotgun. To keep this part short and sweet, I prefer the SMG with the compensator. Its fire rate is still pretty good, and the recoil is ultimately low, so you're able to hold down the trigger for a few seconds while keeping your aim on point. You can use whatever sights you want, but I prefer the reflex on this weapon. There aren't any grips on the SMG, but it doesn't really need one because the recoil is so good. The toxic t-shirt cannon is basically just a meme gun and shouldn't be used unless you want to troll everybody. Which if I might add is hella fun to snipe somebody down a long corridor then run over there and teabag them for the lols. Legion doesn't have a machine pistol or an SMG as a secondary so I don't recommend using the t-shirt cannon if you're trying to rank up. His sidearm is pretty awesome and the sights are some of the best in the game. Now I'm not going to spend 10 minutes and 1 seconds talking about damage of the said weapons here because nobody really cares about it do we? No all we should do is pick the SMG and always aim for the head, all right guys? Always aim for the head, don't go for body shots. Legion has impact grenades and a deployable shield, which nine times out of 10, you'll be picking the impacts over the shield. Unless you're going for some sort of strategic strat or something like that. Or you're just a trash bird shield glitcher and if you're one of those quality players, then uh, go for Meet yourself. Me. Use the impacts to either open up the sights so you have multiple angles or keep them to poke a ball a downed attacker. Both of which are totally acceptable in the higher ranks. All right, so Legion has these soup cans that can be thrown anywhere and everywhere. Basically, if a bad guy gets within one meter of the mine, it'll inject him with poison. The goo mine does damage over time after an initial hit of 10 damage. After that, they'll take on eight damage every two seconds until they go down or they press a button to remove it. The removal animation forces the affected player to look down at the ground to pull it out. So if you hear them removing it, you can quick peek them and get the kill. Players can also remove the goo sting while standing, crouched, or prone. Vision is a little distorted when affected by the mine and running is disabled. Keep that mind guys you cannot run while you're good this is especially useful whenever a blitz is chasing you down and flashing you if you hear that train just charging at you make sure you throw a lesion might at him and you get the hell out of there asap otherwise he's going to kill you and all your friends Anyways, if a player's poisoned, you'll have a better chance of winning that 1v1 engagement. And finally, if a player wants to plant the diffuser, they must first remove the needle before doing so. The soup can requires a flat surface to deploy and is damn near invisible. The attacker's drones can see it a lot easier since the outline of the goo mine is much more visible when the vision is horizontal to the floor. And they also do 5 damage if you directly throw them at a player. So if somebody gets down and you want to give them a goo facial, be sure to keep 2 or 3 in your pocket. The soup cans can be shot just like any other gadget in the game and are retrievable if you want them back as long as they haven't actually activated. You start out with one and you gain another one every 30 seconds for a total of eight goo mines. Now they might reduce the number to six, you know I kind of heard that in the rumblings, but even if they do this guide will still remain relevant because the numbers of the goo mine doesn't really matter. You can see the goo mine placement via your in-game UI. If it goes off then you'll get points for it and the goo icon will disappear telling you that somebody activated it. You can also use them as a very basic intel gathering device as well, much like Valkyrie cams but without direct vision. Now that we have the basics down, let's talk about how to work with this clown. There are three general ways to play Legion. Number one, Anchor. Number two, Roamer. And finally, number three, Zone Control. The first is pretty basic as you're holding down the site, aka anchoring. After setting up the reinforcements, which you should always, always do, guys, please walk up to a wall and hit F. I don't care if it's a wall you're not normally supposed to reinforce, but whatever you do, please use your reinforcements. Do not be that guy to just run around, run out to a window, try to spawn peek, and then get killed. Now we're down two reinforcements and we have to cover for you. All right, I kind of got on a soapbox there, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue. Don't worry about it. It's always good practice to set your initial mines up near main stairs or main pathways to get into the objective. Now, the whole goal as an anchor is to stop the enemies from entering the bomb site and planting. But it could be very common in rank for somebody to pick ash and zerg rush into sight. So to prevent that, you could place the mines on the fastest path so it'll alert you if they're rushing. Now, the key point for this playstyle that I want to point out is you need to place the traps far away from the 
sights and work your way back. Once the round counter starts to tick down, it'll be a lot harder to place them out of the objective because the attackers will most likely have the whole area locked down. You do not want to end up in the position where you're inside sight with three to four goo mines in your pocket and everywhere around you is already trapped. Now if you do find yourself in this position, then try to place them in common plant spots since it forces the attackers to remove the goo mine instead of planting. It may be uncommon, but I've won a few games like this because it took them forever to push and couldn't plant because they were gooed. There's nothing more infuriating than actually getting to the site as a support player, getting ready to hit that, you know, diffuser button, hit F, and you get either echoed or you get gooed or you get elamined and you can't do it and you lose because of that. Now, tight angles can always be your friend, but don't be too hard pressed to hold them. Since you don't have an ACOG, it'll be a little bit harder to hold. Instead, plant a goo mine near the door or close to the path to you. So that way when they push you, it'll activate and you can get the upper hand on them. You're basically forcing them to peek you while poisoned because you have a way better chance of winning that engagement. So that's basically anchoring as Legion. You know, you can kind of do the same thing for Doc and Rook and all that, but uh, the, the gadget really separates him from everybody else. Now the Roamer Legion is way more tricky to play because you have to anticipate where the attackers are pushing. There are two basic goals as a Roamer. Either A, you press for time, or B, you push for frags. Legion is way better at wasting time than most Roamers due to his gadget. To succeed at this type of role, you need to place yourself far away from the objective as possible. And you need to start placing down the traps to slow down the enemy. Imagine pushing stock room of bank or CCTV while there are goo mines. You'll definitely be eating some time off the clock. The impact grenades can be used to connect the room so you can disengage and re-engage the enemy from their flank. The best part about being a legion on this is that you can place the traps from behind and it alerts you whenever you're being flanked. A roaming legion is very good at stopping shield users as well. Like I mentioned earlier, they have to pull out the poisonous dart and when they do, they'll be exposing their front because their shield will be on their back. This is by far the hardest way to play legion, but it can also be the most rewarding. There's nothing like seeing the enemy finally get to the site only having 30 seconds to open up a wall and plant. Now for the final way to play legion, which I like to call zone control. In my opinion, this is the funnest and the best way to play them. The basics for this type of strategy is to hold down a certain part of the map near the objective, kind of like orbiting it. For instance, offices and border near archives or cigar lounge of cafe near the bar site. Your main job is to sit and protect that room and completely lock it down. Place the soup can mines on every window and door and wait for the attackers to push. It's sort of like being an anchor, but uh, way more aggressive. For example, let's say you're holding kitchen in Oregon while your team is upstairs in kids room. It's a common spot to hold because it prevents a buck or jackal from opening up the kids room from below. Once you lose the kids bedroom site, the enemy can swing in from the north and plant the diffuser instantly. Then everything goes to shit after that. You can't really take it back. To prevent that, many teams and good players will try and hold kitchen and bathroom for as long as possible. Now for this strategy, you're not allowed to let them through or just slow them down tremendously. As a zone control lesion, it is your responsibility to hold it down. You should let nobody in if you can. But you also shouldn't die if they're pushing it. You know, live to fight another day, guys. Don't go crazy and just try to run out them. Now for this strategy, it allows the other four players to watch a different objective or area. One player holding down a key zone while others are focused on the rest of the map can make an easy win for you. Now every single goo mine you have has to be dedicated to controlling the zone you are assigned. Place them in the middle of the room if you must, just to keep them from pushing you. Zone control is the most common way to play Legion in the higher levels and the most successful. Now that we've covered everything, let me share some fun and exciting ways to use Legion and some advanced tips for you guys. Number one, did you guys know that you could put a a trap on a window so that way when they repel it'll actually activate and it'll start stinging them whatever you do do not put it in a window where you can get killed from spawn by the attackers now to remove this needle the attacker will either have to go all the way up on the roof or go on the ground to pull it out and by that time you've already eaten like 30 ish of their hp off number two if you're having a problem with the fastest Meep, boy meow, blitz meow. then grab a lesion and toss them while he's pushing you he'll either need to expose his upper body and head or slowly die to the poison which both is okay with me number three put a trap about three to four meters away from a frost trap. When the enemy gets stuck into the trap, their foot will extend forward into the crawl position and the initial burst of 10 damage will actually finish them off. I know it's a little bit mean to do, but hey, you know, getting the kill is getting the kill. You don't want a friend to come and res them, do you? Number four, you could toss a soup can in a room whenever you know that an enemy is holding an angle on you. Like let's say there's an ACOG wielding Zofia watching the flank. You could toss your gadget near them or in the middle of the room and there's a high chance they'll try to shoot it out. As soon as the gadget pops and opens and starts to cloak itself, you could then put 
push because they'll be distracted. And I use this sometimes as Valk if I have an extra camera laying around or, you know, Legion, of course. It's definitely helped me win a game and get that flank off and prevent the uh, the diffuser from being planted. I can only imagine the comms when that happens. Like, you were watching my flank, what happened? We threw a Legion trap and then he peeked me. Like, what, the, what is this? He's this is such a good gamer. What number are we on? Number five, I think. Uh, okay, number five. You can keep an impact as an anchoring Legion to stop thermite charges. This was actually using the Pro League. If there's a small hole above the reinforced wall, you could toss it above and it'll destroy the thermite charge as it goes off. This could be a pretty big deal in some circumstances. Number six, if an enemy is down and you have a trap in your hand, you better meme them to death by throwing it at them. We like to give them goo facials. And finally, number seven, make sure you stack all eight mines in one doorway after waiting all game to have somebody step into one explosive mine of 80 damage and then laugh as the sound blows everybody's eardrums out. It's probably one of the most satisfying sounds in the game, I'm not gonna lie. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Be sure to leave a like because I could use the money and viewer interaction is very nice on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again. If you want more like this, then let me know in the comments below. I love you. Bye bye. One v five clutch, bro. Oh my Jesus! And the whole time they can hear me. Let's go, dude. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs>